Welcome back to Regbeth Productions, brothers and sisters in Christ. So, there is a scripture that I love to speak out in my life when I'm feeling anxious, and that is be anxious for nothing but in all things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request be made known to God. The peace that passes all your understanding shall guard your hearts and your minds to Christ Jesus. When you memorize scripture, you can use it to defeat the enemy. You can use it to defeat your negative emotions. Yeah. Um, so, today, as you all know, I love to do challenges. All challenges, really. But, um, scriptural, biblical Christian challenges are the best challenges out there. So today is the alphabet Bible verse memorization challenge. So it's a bit long. So let's just call it the ABVM challenge. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag ABVM challenge. Okay. So it's the alphabet. So each week, we'll go through a letter of the alphabet. So the first week that you do it is obviously A. So you go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the alphabet, you get it. Um, and then each alphabet letter will have a Bible verse to it. Now, it's just not any random Bible verse, but the vi Bible verse has to start the first letter of the word in the Bible verse has to start with the letter of the alphabet that you're on. So I have started, I have written out and come up with the whole alphabet, um, scriptures for the whole alphabet. But when you finish that, you know, come up with your own. Um, Yeah, it keeps you creative and keeps you, like, challenges are very good, okay, in life. Because we can easily get no motivation for anything. But when we challenge ourselves and each other, my goodness, we get motivation. So when we have this challenge, okay, I'm going to beat my high score of do 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 And challenge yourself. Constantly in life, we should challenge ourselves because it helps us stay motivated, productive. And in the Word of God, like... We need to be able to defeat the enemy with the word of God because he gave it to us as a tool. So it can be hard to memorize things if you're not taking action. But with this Bible verse challenge, um, yeah, we're taking action. So this is a way to motivate you to take action. Um, so the first one that I've got for A is Romans 8, 28. And... I will tell you the what I've got for every um, character, but first I want to tell you how I memorize it. So this is what I do. Okay, so I grab the Bible for Romans. Um, where have I put it? No, I'm not looking for my Bible. I'm looking for something else. Oh, yeah. Okay. So first I grab my Bible and I open up to, okay, Romans 8, 28. And I will read it first. And then... After that, I will write it down on a sticky note or something that you can kind of take with you everywhere. And then, okay, so I will read it off the sticky note. I've got one on the sticky note right here. I know it's backwards for you, but um, I've got Romans 8.28 on a sticky note. Um, and first I will read it a few times off the sticky note. Then I'll try to challenge myself as to... I will take it away and try to remember. Of course, I'm going to get it wrong the first few times or something, or however long it takes you to remember it. But once you get it wrong, you look back and you go, okay, and you read it again, and then you challenge yourself again. You do this throughout the day. You know, when you're going to pray, you just grab it like it's in your pocket or something, and you just flip it out and you start saying it. Because to do it constantly through the day helps you remember. Like, I took it 
with me to work and I had it in my pocket and I had it on the counter at work and I would just grab it and I would say it and when, every time I had a spare time I would say it, read it and then I would start to try to challenge myself and see if I could remember it. So I do not have it, it's right here but I'm not looking at it, okay? So Romans 8, 28 is, and then I always look up because it helps me remember, but Romans 8, 28 is, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the court according to his purpose. See, I memorized it. Yeah, I have to, I'm, okay, I haven't been doing this for long. Let me be honest. I'm still only on to the first one, okay? Um, but this is a challenge we can do together, all right? Um, so, but I still have to kind of think about what it is instead of just going what I could do, um, Philippians 4, 6, and 7, be anxious for nothing, but with all things to pray and supplication. See, I'm not looking up because I already know it, you know? And one's like, um, an obvious one, Philippians 4, 13, I could do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Um, when we can just say it off the bat, it helps us. In times of when you know with Romans 8 28 when we need to know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are the cord according to his purpose when we need to know that in times of our life when we need to know not to be anxious when we need to know that we can do all things through Christ okay so that's why I have decided to share this challenge with you guys. I know others are doing it too. I'm not the first one I found this on YouTube, okay? Um, but I thought I would share it because, you know, I just think it's good to encourage. Um, okay, so let me share what the whole alphabet is. And I will put words on the screen so that you can see if you didn't hear me clearly or something. Okay, so let's go back to the top. A. A is... Romans 8, 28, okay? B is Matthew 5, verse 10. C, Matthew 11, 28 to 30. D, Philippians 4, 6. E, James 1, 17. F, John 3, 16. G, Psalm 46, 1 to 3. H, Psalms 62, 6. I, John, sounds like I'm saying I, John, <laughs> but no. Letter I, John 14, 6. And we're on to J, Hebrews 13, 8. K, Hebrews 13, 5. Psalm, oh, sorry, L, L, Psalm nineteen fourteen. M, Hebrews 12, 14. N, 2 Thessalonians 3, 16. O, Psalm 63, 1. P, John 14:27 Q 1 Thessalonians 5:19 R Acts 3:19 S Isaiah 41:10 T Proverbs 18:10 U Psalm 127:1 V Luke 18:3 W Psalm 3, sorry, Psalm 34, 17, X, 2 Corinthians 13, 5, Y, Psalms, and I'm not saying Y Psalms, it's the letter Y, Psalms 32, 7, 2, 8, and Z, John 2, 17. Now, the thing is, there are different Bible translations that mine might not be the same as yours. Um, 
but that's okay. You can still remember these verses. It's all good to re still remember it. Um, or you can just search for something else that has, you know, your translation. But still, even in different translations, you know, you can just learn that specific one. You know, like, it's still powerful, just a different word. Instead of, like, it says keep, it might say observe. I think I saw that in one and I was like, I'm confused. Do I? But, you know, you know. I just put the, because, you know, it's kind of actually difficult to find ones for, like, X. Like, X, I had to, there wasn't really any X. and There was names, but nothing really started with an X. So, <clears throat> it was more like E, but it was like Exile or Exalt. So, I just did those ones, if you know what I mean. Um, and Z was very hard to find. Um... Yeah, so that's the challenge for you. I hope that this encourages you and, you know, this is something that once you start doing, you should share it to others. Get your children involved. Get your husband or wife involved. Get your mother, father, family members, sisters, brothers involved. Um, friends, you know, this is something to do with each other. You know, you can encourage each other. You can go... Hey, what is A? And then, you know, you got to say it with each other or something, you know? Um, so that is the video for today. I hope this was encouraging. And um, you all stay safe and blessed. And, you know, keep on um, seeking the Lord in everything, every area of your life. Even in these uncertain times. Seek Him. Uh, yeah during this long fast that we're doing. Okay, remember my last video I said, we're on day eight. Well, we have gone way further than day eight. Um, and you know, I don't know why we should really stop. Like three meals a day is not necessarily needed. It's a bit too much, I must say. Um, it is actually very easy once you start, you know, getting used to it, like it becomes a lifestyle and you know, if if you're going straight through, okay, yeah, you you can't just constantly forever do that. Because then you're never eating. And then you're starving yourself and you can't go for the long run. But if you're breaking, you know, at the end of the day and then starting again in the morning. Like, I'm, you know... Um, then you can go for a longer. It is possible to do the longer fast. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good to see all the testimonies that are coming through once this fast, after this fast started. Um, it, it encourages me. I know it encourages so many people just to see the testimonies that is happening. And I hope this video um, encourages you. Oh, may you stay blessed and... That's the end of the video. Bye. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, you know, comment. Tell me if you enjoy this, um, this challenge or if you have come up with any Bible verses on your own to memorize or how well you are memorizing, you know. Um, so, yeah, just, just comment. Whatever you want. Um, bye.